beautiful. We are live. All right. Okay, so like I said, we got two guys here. One is going to wear the uh, Pet Fast Speed Training Bands um, during the warm up, which is uh, recommended, and uh, one is not going to. So you can kind of get a, a different uh, take from both of them. And so I'm going to go right down the list. So the first one, part of the sports performance uh, agility prep, um, I'm going to give you the standard version. I'm going to give you the, the uh, advanced version. It's our uh, lateral push step. Now, all you got to do here is I like to make sure that my athletes are in a good, um, a, a universal athletic position. So I got to have the toes, uh, ankles, knees, hips, shoulders all square. And all I want to do is stay low. I don't want to pop up. Once I get low, I stay in the tunnel. And I'm going to just shift over to my right leg, pick up my left. Now, you can either, depending on what sport you're playing, hockey, you can actually go into that lateral step by bringing it back and then push and then land in the same position. Or I can pick up the foot and lead and push off. But notice how I end up in the same position that I started in. We don't want to come our feet close because a swift wind is going to push you over. You're not going to have any balance. And I don't want to be too wide because you're not going to have enough power. So once I'm here, pick up the foot, push off, stay low. Push off, stay low. That's really going to activate the glutes and it's going to get you in a nice position. So we're going to do that um, for uh, 20 yards. But, but, the, but the second part of this, that's the standard version, or I'm going to give you the uh, advanced version. This is a little bit more dynamic. So you can give it a little bit of bounce then load up and explode. A little bit of a bounce, load up and explode. That's a little bit more uh, dynamic. It's almost like that rapid response. So you can kind of fire up. Yeah, so you can go 10 yards to the middle like this. And then when you get there, you can start the activation, more dynamic version. Okay, so have a look. Make sure you stay low, the shoulders stay level. You load and explode. I talk about load and explode. Very powerful, you're looking for distance. And now I get more dynamic, I'm on the toes more rapid fire. I do three, four, five bounces. There it is. Good. Now we're going to start coming back and push. It's always staying in the tunnel. That's it. That's perfect. And I start to feel that glute turn on, finishing through the full toe. Now here, the next one I call the 45 degree lateral push step. So again, I, a couple different versions here. I'm in this nice athletic position. I'm going to go 45 degrees. I'm going to push. I'm going to land on two. Okay, land on two, or I make it a little bit more dynamic, a little bit harder. I can hold it on one foot, then put on two, or I can bounce, push, bounce, push. Land on two or land on one. So it's up to you. Here we go. So big push, lateral push. Landing with your feet underneath the hips and staying low. And we'll get to that second last line like you did last time, and I'll show you the next part coming back. Staying low, looking for distance. So that 45 degree, as much distance as you can pick up. Try to feel that in the glutes. So on the way back now, I'm gonna do a slalom run. So what I'm doing is gonna have one foot straight or, or, or stagger in front of me, and every two steps, I'm gonna push off the outside leg. So one, two, push off, push off, push off. See that outside foot? Trying to keep my body relatively square. You don't wanna turn. Here we go. There it is, push off. One, two, one, two, outside foot. Beautiful, now the next one is this a lateral shuffle now. So focusing on the beginning where we were pushing, hey, we don't wanna click the heels. I stay low and I shuffle. When I get to the line, I reverse pivot and turn. So if you're playing basketball or anything, you can know you gotta reverse pivot. So I square myself back up. It's control, control, flip and turn. Control, control, flip and turn, staying low. And just try to stay in the same line, the same path. Don't veer off. Ready, go. Flip and turn, reverse pivot and turn. Reverse pivot and turn, all the way down, yep. And we do the same thing coming back and you wanna stay on the same line. Here we go. Now the next one is a deceleration sprint. Okay, so zero to 60. So I can go to a stagger stance, I can have two feet together, but all I do is I run, slow down, pitter patter. I never come to a complete stop, but you notice how I drop my shoulders, bend my knees. I slow down, slow down, my feet and my hands work together as one unit. Ready, go. So I drop down, stutter step, decelerate. Stutter step, decelerate. Stutter step, decelerate. Good. But I don't want to come to a complete stop. I want to keep my feet going as I come down. Ready, going back again. Good, the next one, first do the same thing. Okay, and you could do the first part just there and we can do the next one as I'm showing you back. So I'd run, decelerate, backpedal a few steps, accelerate. Decelerate, backpedal, accelerate. So 
the most important part is, is when I backpedal, I come out of it with my shoulders coming out, not my chest leading the way. So your shoulders, so when I backpedal, I come out, I can go two feet or I can come back and T-step. My shoulders gotta lead me there. Good angles. Ready, go. So I run, decelerate, backpedal, accelerate, with my shoulders leading. You're chasing your shoulders. Beautiful. Stay there and I'll show you the next one, okay? So we don't kill ourselves going back. Now, I wanna run, I'm gonna decelerate, and I'm gonna jump straight up, and when I land, I stagger my feet, left to right, and then the next one, I drop down, I go to the other side, boom. Break down, boom. And notice how each time, my feet change. Okay, so you jump up, right? For my soccer players, it's, I give them a head, like a, or whatever. Right, ready, go. <laughs> give a nice headbutt in the air, or it's gonna hit that ball. Good. And then the last part, this is more the most advanced version, is I do a 360 jump. So I'm learning how to land in space, body control awareness. So I jump, decelerate, jump up, spin, go. Great, then I switch sides. Notice how I go from flip to the right, and I'll flip to the left. Ready, go. Boom, I flip 360, there it is. I gotta go straight up. There it is, straight up. Straight up, that's money. That's money right there. Hey, now what we're gonna do is we do a back pedal, okay? Now, I don't teach my athletes to stay up tall. I see, keep the chest over the knees and toes are on. You're gonna be on your toes here and it's gonna back pedal fast and then slow. I go fast and slow. It's a tempo back pedal. So every five yards, I either go fast or slow. I break it down, ready? Go, so fast and I slow it down. Control the tempo, fast, control the tempo. Beautiful. Now to make it a little bit more advanced, I'm here and I back pedal, then I settle my feet and I flip, slip. I back pedal, I settle. When I settle, my feet get a little wider, good base. I flip, slip from one wall to the other, settle my feet, come back. Exactly. Okay, so back pedal, settle and flip. Ready, go. I back pedal, settle, flip. I back pedal, I settle, I flip. That's nice. Back pedal, settle, flip. That's it. Hey, and now for the finale here, and this only takes five minutes when you do it, it takes maybe even less. I have to look straight ahead, and it's like, oh, a, a, a rhythm shuffle. So every two shuffles, I flip my hips quick. Hey, you gotta have great hips in sports. So I look straight ahead, always seeing my opponent. I never wanna turn around because I will lose sight of them. So I'm here, one, two, flip, one, two, flip. Now look in my head. I'm low and I'm pushing off the front foot, pushing off to get backwards. Ready? Go. One, two, flip, one, two, flip, one, two, flip, one, two, flip, one, two, flip. Now that's the standard version. Here's the more advanced version of this. For five yards, we do quick, quick flips. Five yards, we do the rhythm shuffle. Five yards, quick flips, and then rhythm shuffles. So it looks like this flip, flip, flip. And then a couple shuffles. More coordination. Flip, flip, flip. And then rhythm shuffles. Ready? Go. It's the last one. Quick flip. Then shuffles. Yes. Quick flips. And shuffles. More coordination here. Good. Hey, we'll walk it down. You can take the bands off as you're walking. Now we go to phase two mobility prep. So just walking it down so we have a chance to take the bands off and put them back. Now we're going to phase two. Yeah, yeah, you won't need them. That's just to get everything warmed up in the hips. So that, that really, when I, we use that for athletes, that warm up takes them five minutes when they learn it, maybe in three, because yeah. it's so fast. Now we get the heart rate up and you only went about 60%. Now we got four main stretches that we do. Here's the first one. So I call it deceleration lunge. So you can either pull your leg up to get the help, help the hamstring get some work. So you pull it up, hold it, and then drop down, decelerate, hold yourself so you stick it. Then I get a nice extension. Come here, open up, my eyes follow my hands. I come to the other side, then I get a hamstring kick. And I take a few steps forward and do the same thing. The other leg. Up, hold, decelerate, open, open, kick. Let's give it a shot. Yep, so I want to decelerate, open up, my eyes follow my hands, and kick the back leg through, yes. So I'm here, say a little bit T-spine mobility. I open, get balance, I open, back leg comes through and kick. Nice dynamic kicks. We got a lot going on in one exercise. We try to get the best bang for our bucks. We can get this warm up done in less than 10 to 12 minutes. And you gotta make sure that your eyes follow your hands. You stay locked and loaded. Okay, you make sure that big toe on the ground is really gripping it. 
so you're not losing balance in the front foot. You're dropping the back knee, keeping the chest up nice and tall. And you're squeezing the back glute and driving your hips forward. Okay, the next one we got is a tabletop cross body pull to Superman. So I'm here, get a lot of balance, ankle, knee, hip stability, core. So I'm here, I'm gonna hip hinge, I'm gonna reach, hold this for two to three seconds. Then when I finish that, I'm gonna let this leg go and then reach fully. So I get the quad, I get the uh, abdominals, and I also get now the hamstring at the end. And I pull straight back up. You don't wanna be swaying side to side. You wanna reach out as far as you can, hold that, and then let it go and then reach. Okay, let's have a look at that. A lot of balance, a lot of balance. I'm reaching, I'm reaching, getting full extension, and then I just let that leg go and reach out. So we get a little bit, a little bit of everything. Hamstring's key in the warm-up. So it really gets our uh, balance in the warm-up, especially when we get our single, single leg work coming up after. It's a little combination. So we get the quad pull. The balance into the Superman reach and you're kicking that leg back behind you, really extending it fully, squeezing the glute, pulling back through again. And really trying to grip that foot down into the ground. And we recommend that the athletes hold for at least two to three seconds so they're not, not all over the place. Trying to keep the hips and the shoulders as square as possible. This is great. And that's what we want. Okay. And then the next one coming up is our side lunge. And it's the same with the deceleration. So we bring our leg up like this and then we drop into it, stick it, and we go side to side twice with our foot flat to the ground. We don't want to turn our foot over and put our knee in a comparable position. And we, what I call body transfer, the chest is up. Don't bend over because you're not getting any deeper. So I go to where my mobility takes me. So I go tw uh, two times there and back and then I do rotate. So I rotate, get the hip capsule and then I will shuffle over and I do the other side. So I get decelerate down one, two, going over hip capsule, hip capsule and back over. It's like a Cossack squat there. Yes, so just opening it up. And again, this will take you another three, four minutes because it just goes quick when they know what to do. Yes, and the key is to make sure in the first one that you don't turn the foot right over. And then you flip over. And I'm thinking about getting that leg up every time so I can decelerate into it. Drop, stick, hold, and get into a loop so we can get a little bit of that work in as well in the warm up. And that was our third one. We got one more. And this one kind of gets us prepared for anything in the workout. And it's a hip hinge. Focus on more calf and hamstring again. So instead of doing the old routine where we just kind of go like this and we round out the back, we want to make sure that our chest is up. I tell the guys, take the crease to their hands, put in the crease to their hips, front leg straight with the toe up, back leg bent. Don't have this foot turn. Keep everything square. Crease the hands, crease the hips. Push the butt back more ballistically. Three pumps. Take a few running steps. Other side. One, two, three. But you got to pretend there's a camera on your chest taking a picture of what's in front of you. Okay, and you get that nice ballistic, more dynamic hamstring stretch. And now we'll round up or round out uh, the dynamic flexibility prep, or sorry, the mobility. Now we're gonna head, head off into dynamic. So we go on the ground, we bring the heart rate down just a little bit. I'll bring this over here. And this one's quick. At the end of the day, this should only take 15 minutes, the whole thing. And we're just gonna get on the ground real quick. And you guys know this one, you guys done it before. Cat, cow, all I'm thinking about stacking joint by joint. Hey, the wrist under the elbow, the shoulders, knees in line, take a deep breath in, and I take a deep breath out. I push the ground away, I tuck my chin, I pull my hips underneath me. I can camp out at the top and kind of move around, move and groove and feel good and open up. I'm gonna do five of those. And then from there, once you finish five, 
We're gonna do what we call a hip rock series. You can put one foot out beside you, make sure that hand is in line with the knee, and I'm just gonna rock my hips back, and you're gonna feel a nice deep stretch in the groin here in the hamstring. So I'll do that 10 times. As you start to relax, the breath comes back under you, and then I will sit up, so I won't change legs. I'm gonna sit up when I finish, I'm gonna rotate. So I'm gonna rotate the hip, you're gonna feel that the hip capsule a lot. And I want to try to keep everything square as I open that up. And once I do 10 to this side, I'm going to bring that in front of me and do the same thing. Turn it this way, right and left. So I'm just going to do it again, five per side. And then just like we finished off with a little bit more of a hip hinge movement to hit the top of the hamstring more. And then I'll do the other side right after. So mostly when we train a lot of our teams, we do an hour and a half. So this first 15, 20 minutes, if it takes, it helps us a lot. So we don't have to cut into a lot of the workout time. We do 45 minutes of speed, agility, warm up, all that stuff, preparation. So they're really warm when they hit the weights. When we're finished all that, then we get into what we call tactical frog, okay? So the knees are lined up with the ankles, turn the feet out slightly, you're gonna come out in front of you. And all I want is you're gonna do about five to 10 rock backs, taking a deep breath in as you go down. Breathing out as you come back up. And after you do about five to 10, what I wanna do is pull your knees in, try to fold the turf, squeeze it for about five to 10 seconds, about 80%, then relax, shimmy out more, and then do another rock back again. Okay, so it's rock back five to 10. As you're breathing in, as you go back, breathe out as you come back up, just like a squat. And then you're gonna pull the turf towards you, squeeze your knees together, and you hold that for about five, 10 seconds, and then relax, shimmy out more, and do it again. And you open up the groin, open up the hips. And then when you're finished that, you can stay in that position, you can get some internal rotation by just trying to bring your heel up and over. Okay, that's gonna feel really good in the hips. And you do about five of, of those each side. And then when I'm finished that, then I'm gonna sit, oh, I'm gonna get back up in the quadruped here, but I can keep my legs on the ground. And all, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my leg back, squeeze my glute and bring it up and around, making sure nothing else moves. And if that's too easy, I get my kids up into a full plank and then we can do it from there. So either or is fine, just depending on the advanced uh, level that you're working with. Just do five aside. So we do five forward and five backs. But I like to drive that leg straight back and uh, with my heel and squeeze the glute as I bring it up and around and nothing else will move. Arms will stay locked, shoulders stay level. So we do all those. And then we're, we're gonna sit up and get onto our backside here. So once I've finished those, we get on our back. And what I'm gonna do is I keep my leg at 90 degrees here Hey, toe up, and I'm gonna clasp my hands behind my knee. My head's gonna come back. I'm gonna flex my quad and kick my leg three times like this fast dynamic. One, two, three, and then pull it. All right, so we get three fast um, kicks, and then I pull it back towards me, then I reset it. One, two, three, and pull. So we get high hamstring pull, nice and ballistic and fast, as if you're doing your sprint work, or coming in and out of a break. And I'll do five per side, so obviously there's gonna be 15 total kicks and five total pulls, and I'll do them on both sides. Yeah, so, so 90 under the femur, and then as I finish the kicks, I pull it back towards me. So you feel that big stretch there at the top of the hamstring. And then, and then when I finish that, I'll do about five or 10 straight leg kicks. So I'll, usually you can have both legs down or you can keep, I like to keep one knee up so I can get a little, little bit more range. So I open it up more. So you can do five to 10 straight leg kicks right after. And then from there, we do the roll back and reach into a Spider-Man. So the legs, we roll back, the legs will come out straight, palms are up, chest up, and then I just re uh, reach forward. So I re reach back with the legs, roll back, touch, and then come forward. Yep, get a little bit more groin, open up a little bit more. Just a few more left. So that's eight of the 11 that I'm showing. And then we get to 90-90 after this. So we're going to hit the hip a little bit more. So from there I get into 90-90. And then all I want to do is I want to do some more pumps. So my chest is going to come over my knee, my shin, and I'm just going to reach back towards the opposite leg. So I just pump one, two, three, come over the shin, one, 
two, three, a little bit more ballistic, and I'm just going to reach over to the, last, uh, to, to the opposite side. And I would do five um, total reps of that. So after you finish one, you come back and restart it again. So you come back to the beginning, and you just do both sides. And you're really going to feel that in the hips. That's it. Trying to keep the chest up as, as high, nice and proud, and just lean over, hip hinge, and just pump. Then when you finish that, we just lay on our backs, and we, need, we do knee fall-ins. So we hit the outside of the hip. We just fall it. We do about five to 10 of knee fall-ins. Just drop the knee in, let it go, relax. And we do it again, another five to 10 per side, depending on how you feel. And then the, the last few, we're just going to go into gas pedalers. So you guys all know this one. I get up into that plank position, get the butt up into the air, and I'm just gonna rock side to side, back and forth, drop the heel. And I'm trying to drive my heel down to the ground. I feel that more in the calf now. And then when I finish that one, I go into groiners right after. So, yeah, and then in the groiners here, we just pump. So we do three little pumps, ballistic pumps, and we switch. Jump and switch, three little pumps, jump and switch. And then that ends the warm up. And again, that only takes us about 15 minutes max to finish that. And we'll just take a drink, and then we're gonna get on to the, the glute preparation and uh, low impact jumps. Let's go.